The investigation into the senseless and inhumane killing of 17 wild horses continues. But who could have done it? That's the question many people are left wondering. It seems to me that whoever did it, it was very carefully planned to be done when nobody's around. They'd probably be somebody with a lot of local knowledge. And my guess is that once they killed the first few, the rest panicked and they just kept shooting and kept hunting them down. Wild horses trying to run free before being shot to death. I think it's very sad and very tragic. He spent years researching wild horses and wishing he could get close enough to the scene to investigate it himself. It happened here just north of Wallachine, and when he heard the news, he was angry. To put it bluntly, I was really pissed off that this is still going on. I mean, come on, here we are in uh, the modern age, the old days of shooting wild horses on the range of long past. And he wasn't the only one. It is very hard for me to understand somebody uh, doing an act like this. There are strict rules in B.C. for disposing of any carcass so that prey does not come into the range. I do feel that it's, it's probably not necessarily someone local. Local people look after their uh, livestock. They look after the animals. They are in their industry, in this industry, because they love animals, not because they're out there wanting to destroy them. Police are investigating, but this BC biologist believes someone knows who did it. In the meantime, he's calling for legislation to protect wild horses in BC. Along with laws, we need enforcement. And uh, I'm sure with the public outroar over this, it's gone all across the nation. And I'm sure to the states that, you know, people will start writing our federal and provincial ministers and asking that these horses be protected finally. BC's Ministry of Forests strongly condemns this act of violence and says cruelty to animals is totally unacceptable. Adding, the province does not directly manage or track free-roaming horse populations. The province has engaged with First Nations to manage feral horse populations across the province. Elena Kelly, Glacier Media.